What happens if I throw a ball up in the air? It flies up, slows down, turns around, and falls back to the ground. If my friend throws a ball in the air harder than I did, the same thing happens, but the ball goes a little bit higher. What would it take for someone to throw the ball so hard, so fast, that it keeps on going and never comes back down? How high you can throw a ball depends on the strength of the Earth's gravity. To break away from the pull of gravity, you have to reach escape speed, which for the Earth is about 11.5 kilometers a second, a speed that so far can only be reached by rocket ships. In 1783, the Reverend John Mitchell asked an interesting question. How strong would gravity have to be if the escape speed was the speed of light? The strength of gravity one feels on the surface of a planet or star depends on how compact it is. If the Earth were shrunk down to just one centimeter across, the size of a marble, the gravity would grow so strong a beam of light could not escape from the surface. On the surface of the Sun, gravity is already almost 28 times stronger than on Earth. But if you shrunk it down to just three kilometers across, the size of a small town, light cannot escape from the surface. If the escape speed is the speed of light, then light cannot escape. The object would not shine. John Mitchell called these objects dark stars, which today we call black holes. Mitchell thought of this when all we knew about was Newtonian gravity. What did Einstein add? Special relativity told us there was an ultimate speed limit in the universe, the speed of light. Einstein taught us that you cannot escape from a black hole because you can't go faster than light. Black holes curve space-time so strongly that if you fall deep down in the gravitational well, you reach a point of no return. If you're far away, you can escape, but if you stray too close, you are trapped forever. We call that point of no return the event horizon. Everything beyond the event horizon, inside the black hole, is forever hidden from us and the rest of the universe.